Well, nearby the show is, a, I'm told, a fascinating steward to visit. Am I correct? You are Kevin, correct. Kevin and Jenny are coming. And then these three losers, these three <laughs> great guys are going to come in. We're going to see if this place really is fascinating. It better yeah. be. Oh, getting we'll be getting me out of a nice warm hotel I know. at this hour of the day. Yes, let's see what it's about. Ah, as we enter. Now, here's something perfect. A suit of armor. They're pet frogs? Yes. You missed the pet frogs? Pet frogs on sale. Well, they were on sale. They're gone. We sold them all. Um, now, that quick? welding helmets are what you're looking for. They're hanging from the ceiling Okay. over there. Uh, cameras in the ceiling over there. Gotcha. Um, when a slot machine it hits underneath the, the uh, welding helmets. Gotcha. Um, I've yeah, always wanted a welding helmet. Yeah. Helmet. Yeah, it's an R2-D2, one of the originals. Yeah. Is Ooh. In, in the middle back here. It's totally operational. Awesome. Awesome. We'll see if this one is. Possibly think of. How long has the store now, been here? Since 1982. Okay. And, and, and we hear the plans are to close this very day in 2050. Is I'm okay true? with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd it's love done. to be around to see that happen. Okay. No, it, 2050 it's, it is. It's, it's pretty <clears throat> For me. Um, if it has occurred in this town, we probably have a piece of it in this store. Really? Oh, yes. Everything you can think of. Um, and it's very easy to find. <laughs> so I'll have, I'll have the address in the show notes. Um, very, very easy to find. Now, that speaks for finding the, the building. But once you get inside, it, the question is, yes, we have it. I and, suspect but the bigger question you know is, if I said something, it? you'd say that's down aisle 7 on the third shelf Not down. Not me. I've been no? here six months. That'd oh. be the lady right there. That'd, That'd be that lady. Years. She could tell us. Okay. okay. And there's another lady in here who's been here 24 years. Uh, so she and would be the one that would know. They are, are the glue that hold it together. We are that's looking Rosie forward to Ro oh, well, I'm sure we'll run into Rosie at some point. Well, that's, that's Rosie and then Blanca. Thank you. Thank you. We're off. Tubes yes. <coughs> now, uh, a lot of people don't realize. Well, a lot of people don't realize these were in all the drug stores, and people tested their tubes, and then down here they'd stock the tubes. When you spun this, you found your tube. And then you knew what to do the settings. You could test it for shorts or gas. And then you'd set these here. So it says 7, for instance. R. Oh, oh thanks. 7 R. Uh, a Z. It's, uh, no, it's um, 2. This. And that sets the voltages, so the machine knows what to test. The secret lever. Yes. It, uh, hear the timer? Yeah. Okay, so that that's a, you don't turn it on and leave it on for, for days. Uh, ah. but that gives you plenty of time and you can always reset it. Perfect. Uh, but we, we have... Testers this size, well, like this, uh, and beaver, um, and we carry a serious selection of uh, tubes. And, I mean, well, you need tubes because tubes are the heart of the industry. Well, you would think so. I, I learned, um, I learned transistor theory by first learning tube theory. And then transferred it to transistors. And this is an even smaller tube tester. Right. A Jiffy tester. Now, if you have an old jukebox that has tubes. Now, wait, we had, um, uh, we have a guy in here that, that does um, uh, pinball and jukebox in 
uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Okay. And he said, I've got old um, cigarette machines and some old pinball machines. Would you be interested? I will just bring them down and, and let you have them. I said, when, when can you get them here? Uh, so we are anticipating. Uh, oh, good. Something from them. Good. We will have. Check up what's all up there. Look at all that. Aha. Console. Well, actually, not console. And then that clip. Is it's got a spring-loaded clip that holds it in. The only way to get the tube out is to rock it uh, on the rivets. When you see the two rivets on the, and that's how it came out, and it unsnapped it. If you tried to rock it the other way, the whole idea is if you're going over a bumpy road, the yeah, tube won't come out. The tube out. Right, the tube won't come out. Do you want me to film? No. Oh, no. You got it? no. Russell offered to film. Wasn't that grand of the boy? You're I try supposed to be to say helpful. Yes. But, you know. I think I'm going to. Put, I think I'm going to put yeah. this video up all by itself. I'm so excited. Originally, I was going to put this up as part of the show, but I think we're going to make a, a private video just for you. Well, you can mm -hmm. put that special on. Uh oh. What's oh, hey, what's the special? Fifteen dollars. Yeah, you got a keyboard, you got a monitor, Look. and you got a mouse. There you go. There you go. We have, we have maybe fifty. I have a question. If somebody comes here off the road and they're flew in, will you you offer shipping? Oh, you bet. Okay. So, so. Now, oh, wait a minute. That means if you watch this video and you see something, you could call. Correct. And they could see if they still have it. What's the website? Um, Operations at EPOHouston.com. Operations, Operations at EPO Houston. There we go. So that means you can go to the website, and not everything, but a lot of the stuff would probably be on the website. Yeah, well, and, and it, it changes, changes so much. constantly. Um, but call. Let's see if we can find it. And we can find it. Good. We'll give you a call. We want your money. How many square foot are you? Do you know offhand in the store? About 25,000, is my guess. Just, guess. just guessing. At least 20. Plenty of room. And we haven't have even stuffed explored. it to the rafters. We would love to have more, more room, more space. Well, I think that's why I'm going to do this as a separate video. So I'm going to keep exploring. I'll keep exploring. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will. I will. And here's a Eureka mid century vacuum machine. Okay, here's a new aisle. What? This is a beautiful motor assembly. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, door lock activator. Lock, unlock. Rollers. Turn knob inside to turn on. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, here's a description. Interesting. It's pointing this way, but I don't see where it's pointing to. But it's obviously... Oh, this one. I think this is it. There it is. Oh, it's a timer. We've got a fan. That's a demonstration of a three-way switch. So they call it a two-way light circuit, but it's three ways. Doorbell. <laughs> Elevator buttons. Oh. So with all four lights run in series, they're dimmer. So as I drop a light out of the circuit, they get brighter. A series circuit. Hmm. Fascinating. It was apparently somebody's project. Oh, we have a. Is it? Is it a? This is the computing right here. 
So this is a pretty good computer, isn't it? With a printer. And it even has a, the optional laser printer. <laughs> uh, it was a good working one. Uh, I tried to keep it cut, but still, curious fingers push a lot of buttons and we've jammed it, so we're about to spend a little bit of time and get it unjammed. But it, it does run. That's why you have to cover it to keep it little keep, fingers. Well, big fingers, too. <laughs> I guess big fingers. Well, everybody's curious because keep in mind, many people have never seen this, anything like this. Uh, we have a selection of boom boxes. Uh, Hmm, projects, more projects. Wow. Ah, fan blades. Wow. Uh, my goodness. Well, I can say I have never seen anything like this in my life. I can say that. I've seen parts warehouses, but nothing like this. Nothing like this. Hmm. Yeah, this place is amazing. Uh, you can spend... Russ, how did you find out about this? It's basically, you know, from, from Facebook along with, you know, they're also supporters of the, uh, the Houston, you know, um, Arcade Expo, <coughs> so... Looked on, you know, looked at the address, like, hey, they're not too far from here. Let's check it out. And we're just blown away of all the... I can see yeah. uh, set decorations mm -hmm. from movies and, mm -hmm. and TV here. Oh, yeah. uh, collectors that yeah. are looking. Aha, uh -huh, the Morsa word system. I'll give you an idea. This Powers one. on as is, fixer upper. So this has got to be rare. It's 175 Everything is priced. I mean, this place is a great resource for all kinds of... This is a police scanner and weather. These are 25 So, you know, sometimes people buy stuff just for decoration. Looks like uh, components of a turntable. We have O-rings. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's amazing. Uh, there's neon signs. I, it's the biggest collection of oscilloscopes in the world. Um, and they all have picture tubes. And they also have workshops here where they teach you how to, you know, fix old electronics. And all kinds of <laughs> Vintage radio. Oh, movie projectors. Let me see. Let's. I'm. I'm. Oh, they're super eight. Oh, I see sixteen millimeter up there too. I do. Yeah. There's. I don't see any film. I was hoping to find some color cartoons. Do you have your TNT rotary phone that you dial forgotly? I should. Yeah. To check, what was it? To check warranties? And the warranty yeah. checker. Yeah. Now, I have, <clears throat> want to share something with you. See all these radios? <clears throat> they all have in common five tubes. There were five tubes uh, in most of these radios mm -hmm. and each tube had its own function and believe it or not it's very possible if we open these up they would have the exact same five tubes I used to know what they were because when I could I used to repair radios I, when I was 13 years old I got my first job at a radio repair and they'd send the thing in and it usually was a tube or a capacitor mm. And there's a quick way to test it. The radio would come in with a hum, and you could take a new capacitor and jump it over the old one. And if the hum went away, then you knew the capacitor was bad. And here's a more modern plastic dial. Well, this is a neat one. That one should be in my bedroom. Something fancy. 
macaroni foams. Um, processors and look I knew our man here would be in in the drawers did you find the 6821s no not yet oh no I'm looking but if you're looking for a train or a miniature truck or you happen to be looking for a new blender, a new old blender. Yeah, a new old blender. New old yeah, the, the oysterizer, oysterizer, <sighs> tabletop like mixer. Yes. But you need a new phone for your house. Yes. Now this is an odd one, all wood. Yeah. And it's it says it's ready to be hooked up. <laughs> I just made that up. I just made that up. Oh, you need the landline. <laughs> Sewing machines. A, a radio, a console radio. It works, but power cord removed. So needs a that needs a isolation transformer. Many games need that. Bulbs or bubs. Here's one of the first LED lights made with a metal cage to disperse the heat because the part in here gets hot. Some new old uh, incandescent bulbs. Old looking, new old uh, tires and. Uh, wheels, <coughs> Christmas light strings, uh, LED modules, so they're waterproof and they're addressable, they're controllable. Where, where is it, young man? It's just right up on the... Oh, okay. Where you're headed. And then if you look up top... Oh, wait a minute, let me... I know you're all trying to take all this in. Uh, Aha! There's your microscopes. I suspect people will be watching these over and over again. These are projection bulbs. Now, I use an EMM a TNT, uh, which is fairly standard, but I do not see it. The EJV. There's so many different numbers because these tubes, the uh, bulbs run on so many different voltages <coughs> and watts. And uh, you have to make sure you put the right bub in or it will not work. Bubs. So here we have hmm. interesting. God, this is a hobbyist dream. If you're a dream hobbyist, baby, this is it. This is really neat. So a lot of people are lined up to get their treasures. But we didn't go down this aisle yet. Charging cables. Oh. I want one. Not really. But this is the top piece to our... Uh, do you think I could fit in that coat of... Oh, absolutely. You know, they'd have to cut the sides open for me to fit. <laughs> and look, we have records here. DVDs of the future, you know. Uh -huh. Along with a Philco transceiver. Uh, resistors. Resistors a go-go. Well, I will tell you, okay. if it wasn't for this man, uh -oh. we would not be here. Well, I'm glad you uh, well, decided Well, you should to... have really talked it up. He did, I but did. I was skeptical about coming. But this is actually turning out to be the thrill of the weekend. I told you to trust me. <laughs> and he did. This is the absolute treasure I tried of not to Chicago. Yes. This has got to be... One of the most special places you can go to if you're like me. Uh, power supplies. These could almost be uh, 
power supplies for arcade games. Some, in some cases, they probably are. <coughs> Switching. Look what you're Excuse standing me. Under, actually. Wait a minute. What am I standing under? Wait a minute. Aha! Mm -hmm. An electric cream set. Wait a minute. On the roof. Yeah, there's. We have pictures from the store. A collage of pictures. My gosh. This is just. Yeah, what happened to this shelf? It's empty. One of the prizes in here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Is a brand new in the box, never used. JVC video monitor. That was a broadcast monitor. Huh. It's got the um, that's the factory wrap in plastic there. Uh, we we powered it up to verify it works, but it's not had any any hours hours of use on it. No, it has all the original. Now what what material. have you priced this at? We are selling this for the for the manufacturer's original MSRP. Um, well, broadcast monitors were not cheap. And, um, oh, there it is there. Oh. And it's the, we had uh, a couple of these. The others went, uh, sold very quickly. And this one, we held it for somebody who never came back. And uh, uh, We call them dreamers. Yeah. So, uh, you call not, the, the holding and they don't show back up. Yeah, we're, we're not dreamers. holding it anymore for anybody. We hate them. We hate dreamers. But, um, <coughs> hey, don't hey, we, Russ? Absolutely. There's a lot of dreamers out there. Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't bother these folks if you're a dreamer. Oh, you don't have any money. If you don't have a pot to pee in, we're happy to have anybody not. in. Now, Tilden is a volunteer. How long have you been here, Tilden? Um, maybe two months, I guess. Two months? Mm -hmm. uh, I just told Russ this is the most amazing collection of stuff I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and I haven't even gone back here yet. <laughs> well, I told you I was taking you a surprise. So, oh, know, what was so the yeah. surprise? All right. Yeah. Until well, then, you. you'll be in our video. Okay. And we're doing this as a separate release because this is too exciting not to have its own. Did you get spot. our train going? No, can you? Go press that big silver button up against the wall. Over here. Let me see. So this is a self. There it is. Railroad crossing, press button to start the train. And this looks like one of those walk crossing pushed. I hear it. And there it goes on the other side of this one. Aha! It's coming. Let me switch hands. We are looking. I can hear it. Aha! There it is. You could use that to bring lunch from one side of the room to the other. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to stock this place? Oh, it keeps going. It must be on a timer. Hey, Todd, there's another self-service tube tester up at the top of it. And here, a World War II. Yep, that rings the phone that's over here. Uh, yeah, two hours over. You can talk to Crank to in phone. Do you want how me to hold the camera? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how you crank it. Hmm. Here, Russ, hold that. Yep. Let's see. Let me find the crank. Okay. I don't see the crank. Uh, maybe it's me. Uh, I do hear, I can hear clicking. Hmm. And I, it sounds like it's ringing. But I don't see Mr. Crank. Fascinating. Look, drum set. Look, a, a port of color. Actually, this may be black and white. It is black and white. So With a super only, long antenna. We probably. only have three knobs. Bright, contrast, and vertical hold. And look, it even gets UHF. Ah. <laughs> now we have a, these look like floor speakers. <coughs> and back here, Russell. Mm-hmm. I'll take that now. Thank you, baby. <coughs> 
<coughs> wrestle, it looks like we have turntables to go go. So, some track at a gram and some track at a pound. Depends on the age of the unit. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll pan so people can see the... There's some video projectors. So this is the video, a backup camera. Oh my gosh. I remember this. See right here it says Bick. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a turntable that was made by Bick with the three colors. That was the cat's meow back then. I was keep thinking there's a person next to me, but it's actually... Fucking <laughs> stereos, laser disc players, record players. Ah, I see one reel to reel, I'm sure there's more. Looks like there's another reel to reel back here. There's an old Apple television. That's on sale for $32.23. I'm just going to pan. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, just. There's just, there's just so much. It, it, there's just so much. There's something called an ender. Uh, that's a three-dimensional. Oh, okay. Okay. That's really no. Dear Okay, I'm gonna pan this on this side real quick so you can. There's speakers, cones. Did you know you can actually buy cones to replace your speakers when the rubber wear it wore out. You could buy the cone and then this sticks in mm -hmm. to your speaker. They actually did that because so you didn't have to replace your expensive uh, whole speaker. You just buy a brand new cone. That's when the cat or dog puts their their uh, claws to it. Uh huh. Eight track, which is a thing of the future. Heck yeah. These are coming out. I would be surprised. I mean, Ed Vanderbeek just put one in his new his car. What, there may be, a, there used to be a car 45 RPM player, mm -hmm. and you could play 45s, and it had some tracking to keep the needle from bouncing when you hit, uh, the original but skip. it never worked really well. But, uh, so, and I see, of course, everybody would have to have replacement um, for DVDs. I see cassettes. I see eight tracks, and, and LP. And we have we do have vinyl, but I happen to know that this is your personal favorite. We had Apple track. in my car. A, tri a tribute to Neil John Diamond. Me, yes, actually, believe it or not, I actually like Neil Diamond. It's very possible <laughs> that this was an unlicensed uh, disc, but who I, knows? I I enjoyed him in the jazz singer. You know? Yes, he was a hit in that. Gee, did I, I just tell my age? No. <laughs> <laughs> and if you still click, um, um, that one doesn't come out easy, but this one does. You can still get a, a VHS, VHS tape. VHS tape. Oh, These are coming back. Coming back. I, I think I'll pass on that one. I think you should. Here, come back here. Okay. Uh, did, we, did we miss some of this right here? Hold on. Let me. Speakers. Mm-hmm. Tweeters. Uh, then above, above you, you have all this the mixers and the, that. Yep, the, the, uh, an audiovisual switching box. This reminds me of the cone of silence from Get Smart. It does. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, wait a minute. Oh, here's the button. To, it says here to lower the cone of silence. Here we go. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get. Flip let me back up for a second. Here we go. Just we'll add that in post production. It's not working. <laughs> uh oh. It's not the cone of silence. It just doesn't work for you. Other people. Uh, you know. <laughs> Showtime. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry for the shaky camera. It's, there's a lot of stuff to. We have maneuver around. We have LP records. 45s. Oh my goodness, we have 78s too. Ooh, yeah. Here's the rumbus. So you can get, a, they used to sell, you would go into the store and what they would do is they would sell you this set 
each record, each in here, each side would play about four minutes. Mm -hmm. So here you got eight, four records, eight different songs. Girls so in eight songs of programming. And it's by Xavier Couget and his orchestra. I, I don't think he's recorded anything recently. Oh, God. Uh, Him and everybody that played the songs in it are dead. They might have some Sergio Mendez. That's true. Yeah. That's going to be me one day. Look, speaker panels. Whoops. Uh, I have to squeeze by so yeah. this doesn't Look. catch my, my mm -hmm. crotch. There. Now, here is the... <laughs> some of you may not know this. In the old days, you had a, a CD player. And it could play... You could preload six CDs in it. Mm -hmm. And then you slid this into the machine, and then you could pick one of the six songs. You could set it to play them back to back or continuously, you know, pretty much whatever you'd want. I have more eight tracks. Now, it's hard to believe, but there's a lot of people that still love these. Oh, yeah. You can send them. Here's something interesting there's a guy that you can send the tape to, he will take it out, he'll clean the tape. He puts new rubber pads in it and a new roller and lubricates it. And that'll that'll take it for the rest of the your life. Mm. And it costs, it's not cheap, it's about 30 bucks. But you know, if you love something, you do that. Absolutely. Right, uh, absolutely. If you love something, you do it. It's Tilden, we're going to get in Tilden's way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. uh, you get about time. Oh, wait a minute. Take one. Yeah. Astronaut man. Here's a net, some network. Or woman. Rack systems. If you're networking, obviously these came out of people that did upgrade. Ah, oh, another real. Uh, I mean, that's what you did back in the old days. Mm hmm. This looks like an auto harp, but it's actually a guitar. That's the shape of. That's why I didn't find any auto harps here. However, I did find this international shortwave system. So, um, when you turn this, uh, I used to, God, <laughs> that was another job when I was 13, 14, 15. You see, when you turn this, it would turn a tiny, thin string. It was special string, sort of like fishing line, very hard to break. And you re-threaded it through all these little rollers and tightened it and tied it. So when you turn this, the thread would pull the needle in, and then the thread also went around the tuning dial. So it was like a maze of this threading to get not only the dial to move, but to um, uh, uh, tune the actual radio itself. And that's an eye right there. That's a tuning eye. It's an actual tube. You see the top of it. And there'd be two waves in it, two uh, wings. And when you tuned it in, when you, you tried to get to the lines closest together, it's green. Mm -hmm. And then you knew you had it as clear as it could ever be. So it's, uh, it's sort of like automatic tuning, mm -hmm. but you were the automatic part. Mm -hmm. That's part of the old. Did you go down this song? I well, can't remember. Well, this is a dead end. Oh, it's a dead end? There's, uh, we haven't gone to the back right of the store. <laughs> this way, I guess. I thought we were. I thought we poked around the end. There is a wall here. Well, I mean, on this side. It's like all the way oh, back okay. here. Well, we can wander over there. Russ, you walk ahead. All right. Okay. Definitely spread the word. We sure do appreciate it. I think most people are overwhelmed. Yeah. We're going to we didn't go down this side. Is it this song? I did. We, we filmed it all, reel to reel. This is the future. Eight tracks and reel. Did you go down here? That's what I was. Uh, I don't think so. Cables. Okay. So this would be our cable and connectors. Uh, oh, and look. All right, let me pan it over and just. I have one of them. See, that has two different. It looks almost like it's spitting at two different speeds. Would that be? Oh, we're getting to some good stuff up here. This looks like... Oh, no, okay. I 
lights up the fan. That's just the exhaust fan. That must be the oil. All right, now you need to oh, look. Here we are. Now this is the thing I'm going to have a TNT. So each one of these will will run the different microphones of each person. So that'll be Kurt, and Frank, and Scott, and Steve, Walt, Shell, me, and no one. Uh, oh. We should ask that guy for directions. I think Todd needs to put on one of these masks up here. You yeah. take. <laughs> I want. Is... I want the parrot. There you go. Bird. It's like. Look. Interesting yeah. lighting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, step for housing. Right? Oh. We've had people disappear in the aisles at eight in the morning and not resurface until four or five in the evening. My, my and hopefully we have a whole shopping basket full of stuff. Okay, the first week I was here on Saturday, I opened the doors and let this guy in. And he disappeared into the stand. And um, about 1 o'clock, I see him leave. He hadn't bought anything. And I thought, oh well. And I look up about an hour later, and there he stands. He got a soda and a burger from Mickey D's. And disappears in the stack once again. And we close at 5 on Saturdays at 4.45. He steps up to the counter and he bought $12.36 worth of stuff. And uh, I said, well, did you see it all? He said, oh, no, man, I'm coming back next month. And that pretty much sums up his place. He's had a day of entertainment and he only paid $12.36. Well, plus the uh, Mickey D burger and, and the burger. And well, then he spent that. I guess he may have spent more than the $12 at Mickey D. Yeah, well, he could. At any rate, you can wander around this place for days. Yeah. And if you wait a little bit, it'll change. Yeah. Well, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as this keyboard sells, okay. that comes down. Like now, there, he, they may have another one. Or but, two. Or, five. or two. Okay. So that sounds like he's got multiples of many, which is a good thing. I think it is, Russ, right? Yeah. We did not go up this aisle. Now, this is a floppy disk little file that we all... Now, that's something you would want to keep. You'd want a roll top, too, mm -hmm. so you can access your floppies. Mine's floppy now. Insert joke here. You see what I have to put up with? I can, I can see the comment now. Yeah. You know, I have the ability to preview the comments before they're posted. And I can hit the old delete button. Or I can say delete and block user forever. Whoa. <coughs> That's right. <coughs> I have the ultimate control over my haters. And just for all the, uh, the TNT amusement fans... You know, Todd is going to come out with a two-minute ASMR coughing reel coming soon. And did you notice that this is wide enough that even I can walk down the aisles? There you go. That's critical. Right, we did come down that one. Let's see if we explored this aisle yet. No, we haven't. So if I don't go back here. Well, you know what? We have a lamp assortment. <coughs> so that means that you know what I think we did because yeah I think we did do we this did one yeah this, I got a problem with this 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 space is empty oh just give Chris a couple of minutes okay. he'll fill it now this would be usable in almost anybody last from the past because see the beauty of this is you have two. In the old days, this is packed with information. Mm -hmm. This has all the information 
actually less than a Hallmark greeting card. But what you do is you slide it into the computer, and then when you hit this button, it locks it in, and then you push a button, and instantly the information goes into the TV set. And then you can access all your data. That machine runs, and that disk uh, boots a word processor. Aha! Uh -huh. That was the machine was built by Raytheon for the Department of Defense word initially. Processing. And uh, they were later repurposed to be word processors, and a lot of writers were familiar with this machine. Now, it's hard to believe, but this machine is only 20 years old. This was um, 2003. No, actually, this machine... But this says 0305. This machine was um, built... Or may maybe the disc in is. ...the late 70s, and it was in use until 2014. Somebody was using this to keep an inventory management. Um, there's a daisy wheel printer on top, and that daisy wheel printer prints. And uh, That's all included in one price, right? That's all part of it. There's a whole a box of discs to go with it. <coughs> and this, this would be ideal for somebody making a movie. <coughs> Excuse me, of that vintage. Then they could actually draw uh, on the actual screen coming up since it works they could at least get a picture up on the screen and make like they're typing in data that one's a green CRT I'm sure the manufacturer of that CRT is still doing well oh they're bankrupt too oh god Kate I'm full of happiness now over here these are fluorescent light ballasts. There's a whole bunch of different ones. These, this looks like a whole package of on-off switches, slide switches. I guess that could be used almost anywhere. And here's potentiometers of different values. Uh, the 5K pots are used a lot in arcade games. Arcade pots a go go. This looks very much, but no, it's not. I can see it clearly. See, it has the blue housing. This looks like a pulp, a um, spy hunter pot, but that's not that's not it. But it's similar. Uh, now here's a nice them. clock radio from the Zenith Corporation. And Zenith is still proudly making that. Wow. Here are, I call always call these chalk resistors, but they're wire round resistors. I mean, they always look chalky. I do remember coming down here because I remember the scale. Yeah. Somebody also just typed in the comments, you went down that aisle already. They get mad at me. And the clock is still they would go down the same aisle doing the same thing, sense. thinking you haven't been down there. Ideal for CD. And we have poop. Now, now, there now we got to zoom in on this. Okay, this is, this is your highlight right here. Yes, it's made in the heart of Red China, and it is real poop. It says you can even eat this. That's good to know. Yeah, we can get it here and take take it to your Here's hotel. Some IQ tests. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's fun for the whole family. Yeah, I don't. There's a goodie gusher. Slime. Magnetic putty. See, see, once again, there I'm sure is stuff here you can buy. Very cheap. These are a dollar. A finger hand. So you put it on your finger and then you do this. Like this. It should have electronic ones with the sound effects. Emergency underpants. And they're always ready for use. Have you ever gone commando and wish you had this in your pocket? Yes, you have, if you're a guy. 
Every man on planet Earth is going commando at least once. So the poop and the... Look, research it. So the poop and the underpants, that would be a good little combo. I'm, I'm biting my tongue because I'm... He's biting. I'm a, uh, biting or biting? I'm... Okay. Hey. He's biting or biting. This man seems fascinated, too. Ah. <laughs> Metal art models are in this aisle. So these are kits. And they give you a good example of what you can do here. And then pliers and specialty tools. Look at all these cutters, tools, more tools. That's a, some kind of a stereo, uh, uh, I guess, telescope maybe, or I don't know. Yeah, Optical I, instruments, yeah, exam stuff. Uh, fans, electric fans for the house, uh, lights, more lights, <laughs> uh, a record player here. Uh, this is playing a uh, airline radio. That was a big company. Here, this is one of the repro ones. Here's your world's <laughs> Now there, now that your world's is a screwdriver. That could actually double as what? Pull it off. You slide it off. That could double as a sword. So if or, you had somebody, uh, you, you could poke that. that. Yes, you could. And I suspect if you did insert that, yeah. The, the person would have some serious a, yeah. problems. Yeah. But uh, uh, look, we have horns, car horns. Um, I noticed up here, I was actually, I spotted these masks here. But I went over here, Russ had pointed out down here a classic zero spy case for your spy and diplomatic transactions. I have a lot of them. You could get some syringes from EPO. Your own exercise ball. It's spelled wrong. Uh, now, we also have, hmm, a retro one-step stool. Uh, welding goggles. Gas cans. Where is the love? That's what I want to know. Where is the love? Hmm. There's more stereo equipment here. As you can see, there's also uh, more. Oh, here we have a port of color uh, that plays discs. This is ideal for office, car, boat, camping, and tailgating. Your very own black and white television set. That, of course, won't receive anything now. Now, are you missing a car remote? This is, this is it. Car remote. Here's something you don't see anymore. This is an old rabbit ears. Oops, and I dropped that. I'll have to pick that up. Uh, this here, you pull the rabbit ears up. Okay. And do you see this knob? When you turn it, you'd look at your picture and see if you get a better picture. So you would spin the rabbit ears like this, and you try to get your best picture. See how clumsy I was. I was pleased that it, just the one piece came off. Isn't that something? And here's more five tube radios. That's your more expensive stereo radio from GM, GE, and it says it works good. Anyway, if you're looking for set decorations, you put those rabbit ears. You know, we threw them out. I can't tell you how many exactly. rabbit ears we've thrown out over the years. This one goes this back the to the 50s. It. Yeah. And they really worked. They really did. In the old days when there were overhead signals. But that would look good on your table at home. Uh, tubes. Uh, tube, tubes. When I say tubes, they're tubes to, to do things. Yes, Pepsi-Cola. Um, 
neglected. We were down here. We this is where we pushed the train. Do you remember yeah. we pushed the train here? I think that's now, what we did. And, yeah. You remember how your wife said she wants an extension cord? So this is the one you bring home to her and say, "Sweetie, you wanted an extension, and here it is." And you got to throw it at her like a frisbee. You do know. I'm going to start the train again. Come across. You do know. Yeah. Yeah, I love their... Oh, spring them over again. Because I didn't extend them. This was the future. As a matter of fact, bring... Yeah, no, no, no. Hold it for just a second. Let me show them. See, you put these two tabs. The back of your TV had two screws. You put them on to hook it up. And there was plenty of flat cable. And it went on top of your television set. And you spun it. And that's what we all did. <laughs> that's oh, yeah. what you did. Our train is making a pass again. Isn't this fun? We've been here well over an hour. Uh, <laughs> oh, long outlet strips. Yep. Uh, power converters. And Chris is Chris is wanted on line one. So we'll have to make sure. Is it popular? I see we have a light fixture with inside. There are color um, shades. And look, we have a projector doing star on the ceiling here. Oh, we have all these trucks up on the ceiling. And a wagon. <laughs> Isn't it, it's just so neat. It's overwhelming. Yes. It, it's going like through a time warp. Yeah, it, it was, it's obviously on a timer. Somebody very, somebody here, obviously, They've been to the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia because I see a lot of wonderful uh, tributes. Ben Franklin would love this place. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. He would love this place. He would have so much fun. Yes. I was looking for this and found this, but this one has a different bag. This one works on it, so if I attach this to, to this, that, and, and then you can, yes, and, and then, then it, it will work. And it will work. It will work. The two pieces will do it. Okay. Yep, then you got it. You adapt things. You put in mm -hmm. some adapters in. See, I'm not so stupid. Some people think I'm dumb. Don't they? Sure. That's right. You're helping the customers. Uh, yeah. You, you can be a permanent... You know what? I think I'm ready for a Pepsi. Do you have a quarter... Well, there's no Pepsi in the thing, or on. You know. Creeps! They ran out. Well, maybe I could instead get a to Topo. Um, Topo Chico or something. Oh wow! Classic strawberry beverage, a Topo Chico carbonated beverage, I and what there's what still carbonation. I wonder how old. Gosh, could have broken that. That would have gone all over everything. I gotta be careful. See, when you're big and fat, walking around here could be disastrous. Chris Chris never picked up that call. <laughs> We're gonna see this at the show. By the way, this is uh, a separate video, but the re our regular videos are at the Arcade Expo. Okay, so this is our separate uh, CR two D two. This is the, yes, R2-D2 that you can rent and it, it can bring it to your show. <clears throat> this is perhaps the only thing in the store that's not for sale, right? True. Look, he's got an EPO shopping cart. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> oh, a Helen Bell. Educator series. That's probably a film strip projector. Probably. Probably. Would you recommend this wire brush set? Oh, sorry. It's three pieces. Yeah. It looks like somebody liked them because the other two are gone. Yeah. But there are still wire brushes. These are good. Actually, this br brass cleaning brush, that's perfect to do your teeth in the morning. <laughs> he likes that idea. You would. No, it's not novice. It's novice. 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 
Nobody says Novus. Thank you. Novas. An Ender display panel with knob. Is, do you think that's a television? I guess. What? No, that's um, a screen for a 3D printer. Oh. The Ender 3D printer. The Ender Corporation. Well, I don't know if it's a corporation. And how is Ender doing? Or are they bankrupt too? No, they're doing good. I've, I've been using Ender 3D printer. By the way, I'm looking at something I think should be on your wall. Oh, no. Right here. Can you imagine a, a grass porthole, porthole clock? And it's 175. And can you imagine the look on your wife's face if you hung that up without her knowing? Yeah. Well, I hang a lot of things up without her knowing. She figures it out pretty quick. And you know, very easily, you could also purchase this super lubricant to make her accept the fact that you bought that brass clock. I don't think there's enough lubricant oh, to eat. Pinball! That thing. Pinball! A real pinball machine. I wouldn't touch it. Oh dear. That looks like it's ready to. Oh, wait a minute. Let me move it all four Can legs. We... Let's not. Ooh. A motion control. It says the Pinball Adventures Corporation. No. They'll be yeah. bankrupt soon. <laughs> Snap action switch. Hmm. Yeah, that little demonstrator. Oh. Hmm. Fascinating. To test motors. Yeah, last time um, they hit where it was running, where it was going back and forth. Huh. This is the robots. Robot control stuff. That's what we have here. That's what we have here. Yes. Everybody needs to control the robot. I need my own robot. Did you get some of the lighting over here? That's this about? display. You know what? That looks just like the display that's in my uh, 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 my uh, little tabletop uh, fortune teller. Oh. That looks just like it. Huh. And they, of course, would, would buy one ready-made. And that would probably fit it just right. So if you have a fortune teller Did you get those, uh, those are pretty... Unique. I don't know. I know. You, I heard you got the gas cans, but the, the lighting. The lighting. Oh, maybe it's just decoration. I no, they're they're, they're just they're just globes. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, and the Coleman oh. lamps are here. Uh, scissors. Four steps. Now this is something I could use <laughs> when I'm working on a pinball machine. Well, I'm buying a whole basket full. See? <laughs> See? Look at that. See? I'm a mind reader. I'm a mine. See, do I not read mines? Mostly. Light up tweezers. Design our colors, too. And grab a couple like this for your soldering heat sink. And look, you could get a bass guitar right there. And then the Ferris wheel, whatever. The Ferris that wheel. Spins. That spins. The, the, and look. Uh, hmm. Boy. So you need to get the Star War. It's Star War. War. And Star Trek. And look, I'm glad they the finally... Star Trek. Track. Right? Yeah, Star Trek is... Yeah, they, they right spell there. them wrong. Some of these yeah. things are spelled wrong. Yeah. No, they're spelled right. It's oh, look. Track. A watch repair kit. Musical instruments. I could see you with this clarinet right now, young man. Da -da. <laughs> now here we have a bunch of meters. Uh, <laughs> well, at least there's a whole shelf full. <laughs> so you could look and see if there's a meter that you could use. I noticed these. These look like they could be testers, and they are. There's a tube checker manual. You'll be able to check the filament, the load. What it does is simulates a load to see if the tube is running. Here's some more parts. I'm pretty sure all these are testers. 
And we saw these earlier on this side. Oh my. He's looking for a clock radio. See if one works. You never know. Oh, you know what? These, these lights, uh, they always have a bulb in the base. And, and you use that as a night light. So the switch would turn on the, the main light. You turn it again, this light would go on. You turn it again, both go on. And then you turn it a fourth time and they all go off. So that way you could leave the light on in the base at night. That's only seven watts. That's, you might have a grandmother that still has one of those. They were very popular back then. Now, we have a whole bank of crap capacitors. Tons of them. And there are trimmers and pots here. And here's the train section. And uh, more capacitors. A lot of them. Hmm. A lot of them. So now these are more testers on this side. Oops, and capacitors over here. They say a capacitor will, will be okay, um, even if it's unused and new, um, for more years. When they're used, that's where they tend to go out. They start to leak uh, jewelry. Aha, a set of teeth. I could use them. Now, some of these look very old. I just don't know. A stone washer? Magnifying glass, a whole wall of them. I'll swing over here. And a cell phone lockup. Aha! Fight temptation. <laughs> Lava lamps. $39.99, there's a choice of them. And they can ship. Remember, everything can be shipped. So if you see something, uh, I have a great idea. You could look at the minute mark of the video, contact them and say, at this minute, at 39 minutes and 32 seconds, you're interested in that item. And then, they, then the people can find out what the item is and figure it out. You can see there's even more parts in the back. We are done. I think we're done. I think we had a lot of fun. And, uh, all right. I think it's time that we end this video by saying thank you very much to you. Thank you. We love this. And hopefully you'll get tons of sales. And if you do, on my next trip, Will you get me a free cup of coffee? I will definitely get you two. <gasps> two cups. Two cups. You heard her. Yep. She promised. Two cups but of only if you make sales from my video. Definitely. Done. Okay. I'll take that up. That's good. Thank you, Thank you very much, Thank guys. You very much. Thanks. Hope to see you out here soon again. <laughs> Thanks. Come on out. Ah. Well, gentlemen, he, he's got a purchase. I do and, not. No, he does. Yes. But look, just in case. Free. They have a free section. And so it's perfect to recycle. You just can't take the black box. Okay? So there's some interesting things. Uh, that, <laughs> that was pretty neat, wasn't it? Listen, thanks for watching. Make sure you contact them. Uh, we'll have all the contact information in the description below. Uh, and when I return to Philadelphia, uh, I'll add some other stuff too. So you can come back for repeated viewing. But remember, if you see something you like, write the minute mark down. The minutes will not change. And uh, email these two folks and they will take care of you and find that item and give you a price. I think that's pretty fair. And I think that'll work out really nice. So, we are done. Copyright 2023 by TNT Amusements, but you're welcome to use my footage if you ask me first, and then give me a credit, of course. Part of my greatness.
Thanks for watching. Adios. And back to the pinball show. Good night. Now get out! We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again. Some sunny day. Just like you